Code Africa. Unlock the future. All right. Welcome back to our very first encounter of C++. All right. So what we are going to do in this episode is that we are going to download an ID and also have, see how we can install it. Okay. On both Mac and Windows. All right. So what actually is ID? ID simply means Integrated Development Environment. Forget about this fancy name. All what we are trying to mean is that it is a test editor, okay? That contains a, a comparer that converts our code from zeros and ones to the actual software that we are building. All right. There are so many test editors out there. We have Notepad++, The Bracket, Code Pen, Atom, and Sublime Test, and Virtual Studio. There are many of them, okay? So all these softwares are there that we can use. And what this test editor does is that it converts our code, okay? We know computer understands zeros and ones, okay? So it converts our code to that zeros and ones for the computer to understand it and print it out to the actual software that we are building, okay? So to start coding, we need a test editor, and that is what we are going to do, okay? Now, you can use any test editor of your choice. For example, if you have Virtual Studio, you are good to go, you can use it. But in this episode, because we are starting from scratch, we are starting from the beginner lesson of C++, what we are going to do is that we are going to download code block. All right. So what code blocks does is that it contains the C++ and C comparers so that when we are working on C++ project, it becomes simple. Okay. So it's beginner friendly. So whilst we are beginning from the beginning, I would suggest that we all download this software and install it and begin from the beginning. Whilst we are progressing, we will actually divert from uh, code blocks and also be using advanced test editors like uh, Virtual Studio or any other test editor. All right. So without much I do, let's dive in. Now you open any browser of your choice, which I will go for Chrome, okay? Then you type in your codeblock.org, okay? codeblock.org and hit enter okay now it is going to take you to this official website and a landing page of codeblock okay all right so what we do from here is that you come here and click on downloads click on that all right so you'll be taken to this interface and what you do from here also is that you click on what download a binary release click on that one all right so on this interface what you do is that when you scroll down you can see that codeblock is available on uh windows linux and also on mac okay which is very very good okay it is to our advantage because depending on the operating system that you are using you are good to go to use code block okay now what you do here is that uh as a mac user don't click on this one okay when you click on this one it's going to give you the the oldest version of code blocks okay which you might not like it okay so what you do is that you ignore this one don't click on this one then you come here Come here and click on this one, Sourceful Forge, okay? Click on this, SourcefulForge.net. Click on that one. All right, so now you can see that you have been redirected to this interface. And what we can do from here is that you can see that we have your download here, okay? And the version that is given to us as a Mac user is um, the 17.12, okay? All right, which is um, 18.4 megabytes, all right? So let's go ahead and download that. So you click on that, click on download. Download the latest version, you click on that. And you need, uh, we can see uh, by five seconds, your download must be able to start, okay? And there we go. We can see that our download has started here. All right, all right. So now after the file is successful downloaded, uh, you click on the file to open. So you have to drag the file into your applications. We are having it already, so I'm replacing it. So after, um, wait for it. Now we are going to encounter some error and see how we are going to fix it, okay? Um, you might also be encountering the same error. So let's open it. Now we are we have dragged it to our applications. So now we are opening the, the project. Okay. Now we can see that we are having some security issues. Okay. So uh, it is asking us to just throw it in a dustbin, which we don't want to do. So we come to the set system preferences. Okay. When we come to system preferences, let's close this one. Then we come to security and privacy. Okay. Click on that one. And here you can see from here. Uh, that is blocking it. So we have to open it anyway. Okay. Code block was blocked. So click on open anyway. Click on that. In some reasons, it will tell you to unlock it, your, your machine before. So when, when you give the permission and open it, now you are free to go to open your code block. All right. 
all right so now that we're able to download and install the mac version let's see how we can do likewise to the windows version so on the windows version you scroll down when you scroll down you come to this place there are so many options that we can choose to download from okay we have the 32 bits here from here or here is 32 bits but we are not going to use 32 bits because our system is not 32 bits it's rather 64 bits okay all right i am very sure that your machine is 64 bits okay because in this time i don't i'm, I'm not sure someone is using 32 bits to actually do this kind of programming and anyway that is just by the way so what you do from here is that um you come to this place m-i-n-g-w okay mage w setup this is what we are going to download there are varieties here but we are going to we are going to use this one and we are going to use this one the forges.net to download it okay all right so uh, actually this one rather would make it make the download uh, more faster uh, because that's what i've been using so that's what you're going to use okay so as a windows um, user you click on this one okay click on this one and it, it is pretty much the same as the mac by five seconds your download must be able to start okay all right and you can see that the, the, the download has started here okay so when i come to my downloads you can see the file here okay and the file is 145 megabytes okay okay so uh, you wait for it to download and uh, you start the installation but as usual in the installation also on the on the windows side we are going to encounter some errors so we are going to see how to fix that one also and also start um, setting up our code block for coding all right now after your software is successful downloaded um, you can see it from there then you can click on show in folder so when you click on show in folder the the software will appear like this in your downloads okay so inside your downloads you can see the software there okay that is the code blocks so you double click it to open okay you double click to open we are going to do the installation so now allow it uh, the installation is with um the process are very simple okay it's just step by step agreed don't change anything here go next and install don't don't change anything okay it is downloading to the code block uh, um, directory so just leave it by default and click on install and leave it to uh, do the installation okay now when the installation is done we, we will not open okay we will go to no then we click on next and we will finish the installation we did not open because we need to do some settings uh, uh in order for our project to work okay so in order for our project to work we need to do some environment integration settings okay uh the comparer and the user directory it must match okay it must meet the comparer the environment we need to do all this configuration before it will start working okay so it's very simple approach just follow the proceeding so you open your drive c okay so inside your drive c you come to uh, the program files then you come to your code blocks okay folder that is the code block folder so you open it then you come to the main gw okay main gw then you open that folder then the very first one which is the bin open inside then what we do from here is that inside this bin, uh, we are going to copy this address. Okay, copy the address from here. After that, you can go ahead and close it. Close, close everything here. Then uh, you open your windows and go to your control panel. So inside your control panel, uh, you come to the system and security. Then you come to the system. Okay, so inside the system. Uh, you come to advanced system settings okay advanced system settings click on that one then from here you can come to the uh -huh, the environment variables okay the environment so inside the environment what we do from here is that we are going to create uh, yeah, yes we will select the path okay then we edit let's edit the path okay so we are going to create a new path so you click you, you you click on new then you paste the address okay here you paste the address that you copied you paste here okay this is the only way that will make your program runs successfully okay so make sure you follow this step carefully so you the address that you copy uh from your um the bin directory you come here and you paste them in okay that is all then you click on okay all right then okay and okay so from here we are good to go okay so from here we are good to go now you come to your cmd we are going to check whether our 
code block has been successfully installed okay and it has been recognized in our system so we are going to do the terminal to test it okay so uh from here you just do gcc dash dash version okay so gcc dash dash version and you can see that it has been successfully installed okay it has been successfully installed all right that is the 8.1.0 all right so now that we have a positive response from our terminal let's go ahead and run our code okay so let's go ahead and run the code so let's close the terminal then open our code block let's open it and here we select the gnu gcc comparer okay it has been detected already all right so we are good to go we click on ok and here um, you can select the first one uh, then we leave it okay so now we are good to go we are good we are all on the server side all right so from here we are good okay, all right everything is working perfectly all right guys so now that we have, we've been able to install our code block and also download and do the installation successfully now let's open it and do a little configuration and we are good to go all right so it is launching you wait for it to open all right so we will have something like this in some cases it is not always the case but in some cases you might be finding some error also here that says that cannot find a compiler executable in your configured search path of gun gcc compiler okay when you encounter this error i'm going to show you how you how you can fix it uh, for the mac users you are good to go you will not encounter such an issue but i think um, windows users sometime you might be encounter an error that says there will just be a pop-up that says that cannot find a compiler executable okay so when you encounter that error what you have to do is that you come here you only have to come to settings then you come to compiler okay you see here click on that and from here what you have to do is that you come to the chain okay um when you click on this one then you come to auto detect okay so you only have to click on the auto detect and you receive a pop-up and when the auto detect gives you this pop-up you are good to go that error has been fixed okay it's as simple as that all right so now what you are going to do is that let's open our terminal and search if we are at the server side so this is my terminal and what i'm going to do here is that i'm going to check if everything is uh, on point so i'll do c plus um jcc dash dash version version i'll hit enter and i am at the server side because i'm getting the results okay i'm getting the results here my compiler is working uh my code block and my compiler has been configured successfully okay so because i'm not having any error here okay my version is 12 okay 12.0.0 all right all right so if we're able to get this interface congratulations okay we've been able to download and install code block successfully and your configuration also is working successfully so now we will end here and come back on the next one and look at how we can start creating our c plus plus projects right from scratch all right thank you